Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Tiny Rogues Between Heaven and Hell. We're gonna play a, well, essentially random run, but I'll just random a character that has an unlock because we have a lot of unlocks, class unlocks still left to do. Um, our current cinder level is six. I guess we could maybe pump it up. Pump it up. Floors contain up to three times more packs of enchanted enemies if we don't take this, we can take all the ones that make enchanted enemies worse. Then maybe there's not a lot of enchanted enemies. A soul automaton X variation will sometimes invade a combat encounter and attack you. Hate it. Subdues you for eight seconds at the start of combat. You deal less damage while subdues. This basically makes your boss fights a little bit longer. We could also just completely ignore all of the cinder levels and say, hey, I don't really want to make the game harder, so why don't we random a character? It's the ranger. We have played as the ranger before. Um, I wonder if it randoms page two or not, but with the ranger, is there a ranger-based unlock? Yes, demon hunter. This was actually suggested the other day as well. Hey, Abe, unlock the demon hunter. So sure, Infernal Throne, so we gotta go down to Hell as the Ranger. Let's do it, we start with a bow. We have plus one evasion. Should be a very good run, because I like those stats. Uh, play the game. I've been having a good time with Tiny Rogues. It's a fun game to play. Kinda makes for a good replacement to Gungeon as well, because then I don't have to play the same game for another 800 years. Um, Let's see, what are our current stats? If we take Lollipop, we're... <laughs> this game, man. We're gonna bump up our intelligence and we might get intelligence-related perks, but honestly, like, I wouldn't mind having magic weapons. I don't really have a reason to have any weapons at all on this run. Sure, we are a ranger and you would think, oh, well, that's dexterity-based, but all we get as far as our class perk is evasion. You know, that's not tied to anything. I kind of like that about this game is that a lot of the characters, a lot of the classes don't really have any inherent benefit to being one or the other. Melee, ranged, magic, you can kind of do whatever you want, whatever you can do anyways. Uh, cost health to open. I mean, yes, although I will say. All right, you're dead. What is proximity? I don't even know what proximity defense means. We'll open up the chest. I really wish that it would take your red hearts instead of your soul hearts, but you know, what can I do about that? Yo, free level up. <laughs> Danuna says, random doesn't automatically start and it only gives you a suggested su suggestion. That's nice and thoughtful of the developers. I like it too. There's so many things that this game does right. Pelican, welcome. Heya when there isn't a warm-up run. This is the warm-up run. It's warm-up tiny rogues before we play more tiny rogues. More intelligence, less stats from strength and dexterity. Grants you an aura that burns, two spinning blades, or power per soul heart. Zero currently up to 100. I told you we'd get all these freaking intelligence traits all of a sudden, but I don't really care too much about most of these. Um, aura that inflicts burn. It's actually quite a lot of burn damage, so maybe we'll take the burn aura and we'll swap it out later. Yeah, it's just a, a tiny little warm-up run. Yo, that's like four keys. I don't know, more intelligence? Why not? Actually, I like fire aura because fire actually deals quite a lot of damage. All right, we have a, a great weapon for a melee build, but it's a heck of a lot better than what we currently have. 100% crits against dragons. Why does the weapon suck so much? It's a freaking like epic elite weapon. And it's like the same damage as the bow. I guess it has better scaling, but really makes you think about that one run in which we had, we had like some, we had an ax that we picked up on the first floor and it had insanely good stats. But I, I realized the reason why it had good stats is because it had no scaling. The entire point of that weapon is that it's just good flat damage. It doesn't get any better over time though. 
So I'm looking at this weapon and I'm like, oh, it kind of sucks, but it's got A scaling. Hmm. Socks with sandals intimidate all enemies in the room. They take more damage. Why does it have one second cooldown on combat start? I'm not entirely certain what that means. Mana Star recovers stamina. Grants a cactus orbital on completing a full rotation triggers your on-taking damage effect. I mean, do we take this in case we get a uh, clown armor? <laughs> Entering an event room grants one EXP. Don't need it. Um, I gotta be honest. Anything that does something on taking damage could be a lot of fun with orbitals. Because I, I have this idea in my head of can you make a run where you become invincible on taking damage and then that would just make you invincible forever? I don't know. For now though, I'm just gonna take it because it is something. What's our current stats here? Five intelligence. Dude, we need some dexterity. Uncommon weapons. I think our weapons are currently fine. Collector says, people who wear socks with sandals in public should go to jail. Jail. <laughs> I, um... Look, I'm gonna be honest. I've got some sandals I wear around the house. And yes, I wear them with socks. I don't wear them out. But then also, it's freaking winter, okay? So sue me. So sue me. Dude, we're gonna just apparently be a magic build, I guess. So, this will be interesting. Hey, can your bombs open this? Hey, come here. Oh, I accidentally burned you to death. If it's in the house, it's fine. In public, no. So you know straight to jail, says the Nor. Thrusting damage inflicts puncture. Puncture is, I think, meaningless. Or then inflicts poison. Sure, I guess we're going all DOT build. Maybe we can stack up the AOE range for this. Oh, excuse me, I had a sneeze. Grants increased damage depending on how good your alignment is. Damn. Granted damage bonus doubles against dragons. Damn, damn, because we, we want to go evil route and you give me, like, the best good route item I think I've ever seen. S screw you, game. Well, I guess we're gonna have just an absolutely massive amount of, uh, auras. I mean, it's pretty good damage right now. We gotta use something a little bit better here. Well... A little bit more range. Sandal straps chafes, chafes your feet a tad much without socks, says Connie. Uh-oh, we found him. Get him, everybody! Get him! Suppression. 50 equip load capacity. Hmm, I do like that. I also like ruthless hit chance and then making all of your attacks close range. Plus two stamina for a helmet. What's our current equipment? I haven't even looked at our ranger gear. Increased damage with ranged weapons, increased ranged damage. So we do need to find a, a better ranged weapon at some point. Increase attack speed of standing still. Let's do stamina hat. Suppression charm. I'm gonna take a uh, equip load capacity boots. I actually like them. And we'll go to the evil shop. We'll go to the evil shop. Man, we need to go down to unlock a character, otherwise I would absolutely use the good shop here to get the damage bonuses, but I can't. I can't. We must become evil. Grants plus three intelligence, charm, increase melee damage, fire damage bonus. I guess we can take both of these, an accessory and a charm. Maman says, look at that, I told you I got an awesome aura build today, now you're getting one. I mean, 
I guess I haven't done a build with pure auras, have I? We can try to make it work. Ranged weapon, yes, I need a ranged weapon. We'll try to make it work. Though I'm not, this isn't really the best run for it. I think the best run for it is um, going straight on intelligence because there's a perk that gives you power when you have soul hearts and then with your soul hearts, you can have the AOE be a lot larger. That's where it really, really, really goes well. Also does a secondary attack that deals sound damage, primary attack deals thrusting damage. Oh God, it's the, uh, uh, it's the, the fam familiar friend harp from Enter the Gungeon. I forget what it is though. Doodle, 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 doodle. I forget the name of the gun. Yeah, there you go, special loot, thank you. Berserker's axes. Axe melee, lucky hit chance. Grants a stack of rage when both axes hit. Oh, hold on. Oh, heck yeah, that's a uh, very good range. Stack of rage, increased attack speed per stack, stacks up to 40%. I guess we can give it a shot here. Let's go for the set item. Range could be a little bit better. Tuxedo, tuxedo mask. Lucky hits intimidate. Makes enemies take more damage. We don't have any lucky hits right now unless we use the uh, happy berserker axes. What's the deal with all of this lucky early, like epic equipment? Man, do I just have like the best luck in this game or something? These shots home, these shots might home in. Not as good of a run as we had with, we'll definitely go here. Not as good of a run as when we had the, um, the clown suit though. I will sell the great sword because why not? Sell the emblem. Quite a decent amount of cash. We will. Uh, lucky hits per weapon upgrade level. I might keep that tuxedo for the time being. We'll go to the tavern. There's a dice man. I will not forget dice man today. I've been made fun of for forgetting dice man. Um, purges evil. No, thank you. I guess now we'll just leave. I'm actually gonna go for the bombs though. Okay, so the sound damage shots, they are homing. I'm realizing now. They're also giving me a yellow arrow up. What is yellow arrow up? What is... Oh, super effective multiplier. I guess plants don't like sound. I thought plants liked sound. <laughs> The Norse says this is starting to remind me of Honk. Nothing will be as good as that Honk run is, unless we get another Honk run with taking the trait that doubles your orbitals. It is kind of like a gun shang, isn't it? <clears throat> Amon says, what do you mean the best luck in this game? Have you ever seen your own Gungeon runs? No, that, that's not good luck. That's just normal luck though. That's, that's you know, everyone's runs, right? Nothing special, right? Is Honk on YouTube yet? Honk will go on YouTube in like two weeks. I've been bad about uploading videos and my backlog. <laughs> I have so much editing to do for YouTube. It's ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Increase attack speed with instrument weapons. Well, I guess that's what we're taking because I forgot to look at everything else. It's not even an instrument weapon. It's a crossbow, not an instrument. I think. I, oh, that's so disappointing. 
I hate misclicking in this game. Cause C opens your character menu, F opens your inventory, E opens your, E is select your item, G is your, your dice bag, hotkey. Freaking every, every button in this game is its own unique interactable mechanic and I always just get confused and I hit the wrong button and I accidentally take inventory that I don't want. Ugh. I'm the type of person who needs an are you sure button. <laughs> Kimacho Libre, welcome, and Shinigami. Hello as well, how you doing? And Nambi, here to remind you to hydrate. I do not have, yes, I do not have water, I have coffee. But I'm gonna be drinking it, so that kinda counts. I hope. Needed those bombs. Rare weapons we'll go for. Don't really need many keys right now. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna take the hit. And how do you heal? F? <laughs> uh... V? V. Why is V heal? What the heck? Beam sword. Primary attack deal slashing damage has a 30% luck chance on hit to shoot a beam. Throwing ranged javelin inf inflicts shriek. Just a, a damage over time. That's not that bad. Bill Chug, welcome. No hello for me. I didn't see any message from you. Hope you die in game. <laughs> I hope I don't die in game, because I wanna I wanna live. Grenade launcher. Cannon ranged. Primary attacks deal big explosion damage and trigger your on dropped bomb effect. I guess this is another damage over time, these ghost javelins. Let's take some ghost javelins. We are, at heart, a ranged character. Thought you said bean sword. Yeah, we have a, a lovely, delicious bean that we fire. Oh, they penetrate in home, nice. Dare Nunu, thank, thank you for a gift sub. I uh, didn't notice that projectile coming at me because I was looking at the other screen. Doodle -doodle 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 -doodle. Metafusion says, Abe, you're better than this. Better than what? Increased orbital speed. Orbitals inflict vulnerability. More damage from intelligence. Each point of intelligence additionally grants increase effect of buffs and increased aura radius. Absolutely. Now, does that count as a buff? No. Fire aura, poison aura. I don't think it counts as a buff, unfortunately. We'll try to keep an eye out for that, though, but... Yeah, we want intelligence now, and then we want these auras to be the entire screen. Also, each point of intelligence additionally grants plus one power. Yes. Attack speed per on dash gain tiny dancer. Plus 12 dexterity for four seconds, interesting. Body armor, what do we have right now? Increased ranged damage. I mean, I think we want this. I look like I belong in like some sort of a French cartoon. Coffee is majority water anyways. Absolutely. <laughs> Better still hydrate though. All right, I have some water. For you, a sip. In my aura run, I got that in the brain helmet, plus 20 int, says Mamad. Power also in buffs auras, so this will buff our aura. No, it, wait, does it buff auras? It does, it buffs. Area of effect. I didn't realize it would buff auras. Actually, I thought it would buff auras, and then I read it and thought it wouldn't buff auras, but it does buff auras. It buffs area of effects. Dr. Fear Taker, welcome. Long time no see. How are you doing? Okay. Um, we don't need body armor. 12 dexterity boots. I don't think we need that because we have um, equip load boots right now, which I, I actually really like. Repair ranged weapon. Well, we'll go ranged weapon. Actually, our weapons are really, really decent right now. 
Doodle 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 doodle. Gold chakrams. These are not good enough. Not good enough to replace what we already have. We'll go for another chest. I would like to not go to at so many chests, but that's okay. War bell. Okay. So this is an accessory. It grants more damage and ruthless hits at close range. Currently, we have a fire damage ruby ring. If we can take the perk that makes all ranged attacks close range, that's insanely good. Right now, maybe not so much. Hello. Wanna play a game? You can win some superb trash I've collected. Yeehaw, let's play! Oh God, I have to sneeze too. <laughs> Did you see which one it was? Oh God, I had to sneeze. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Lucky you, here, take this. Maiden dress. Nambi says, Harp Crossbow, really good to be honest. I like it because it fires two different shots and the other shot's home. And I think the secondary attack that deals 200 to 500 damage, I think that's per projectile. Doctor says, I found out the hard way I can't play BPM. 30 minutes started to get nauseous. Honestly, that's fair. I like how keep track of the ball is not able to be contained within the box. It's too large for it. BPM in particular, it's a game that has a lot of like beating and thumping. So I could, I can definitely see that being something that is potentially a little bit difficult to watch. Or play. I didn't have any problems with it myself, but that's just because I'm so, I've got such a good constitution, man. Never been sick in my life. Pawn shop money. I do hope we can get to a pawn shop. Wyvern armor. All enemies are dragons plus one suppression. You know, I've never had the synergy because I've never had the other piece of this set. I've never had the helmet that presumably makes you do more damage against dragons. That's my guess anyways. <laughs> Boots or melee weapon? Um. This will take boots. Like, we don't need boots, but we don't need a melee weapon. Nobody can know. I always find this enemy to be difficult to understand. I, I keep thinking that the circles that appear in a circle are bombs that he's throwing, but then the projectiles that he's throwing just kind of like continue on their way. Increased damage, but also reduces damage by 10% per level. <clears throat> so, better early. Increased fire hit damage. Increased elemental damage rainbow charm. Thank you. Plus two seconds of invincibility after taking damage. Hold on. I'm going to assume that this does not synergize with the cactus orb, otherwise we would be invincible forever. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'll still buy it, but I assume it's not going to work with this. You'd hope, though. You'd very much hope. Dr. Fear Taker says, I just can't do first person anymore. Rip. Rip, bud. Didn't you say you got COVID? Haas is Mason. I, I got COVID uh, last year. Like 15 months ago, Thanksgiving. 
A friend of mine brought their significant other into the house and they brought it with them. I will definitely take a meat shank for uh, stats and a quick load. I don't need one key. Ooh! Well, what do we level up now? Probably just the bow. There you go. Harp crossbow maximally upgraded. I am not, unfortunately, invincible forever. This is a re-roll. Now I'll take the key. I didn't realize we had a base level harp here. Let's level that bad boy up. Mimic. I'm not really doing a full on, um, we need a pawn shop, man. I'm not really doing a full on aura build yet, but we have the possibility. We just need better loot to make it happen, I think. Increased flask drink speed, fantastic. Yo, we found two power gems this run. That's pretty good. <laughs> Repeated attacks have double their crit hit multiplier. Not gonna happen. Double intelligence could work. We would have more aura radius and more power. Hmm. In 25% increased attack speed per aura you have? Okay, maybe that's actually the play right there. Yeah, all right, I love it. We also have a gun. Ha Wait, it's legendary, it's also a ghost rifle? During combat, periodically calls down a nuclear bomb that deals 10,000 to 26,000 damage every 10 seconds. If, pardon me. Every other attack inflicts toxic or poison damage. No, I have, I have, I have a sniper rifle that nukes. Every 10 seconds, I nuke. Dude, I need to, I need new equipment. I <laughs> uh, need a new hat is what I need. No nukes yet. Get some bombs. I want to. I want to see it. Every ten seconds. I haven't seen it once. <laughs> Where's my nuke? Where's my nuke game? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I mean, that's pretty cool, but it takes a long ass time. <laughs> like a long, long ass time. I guess for bosses, it's gonna be pretty good. I mean, when, when it can't even activate once on a boss fight, what's the freaking point? What I need is an item that makes periodicals happen at combat start. Like every time you dash. Plus two beetle companions, they buff melee damage. Plus two stamina boots. Increased chance for ranged attacks to repeat. Marksman's gloves. Icy Ball Orbital, body armor. Well, we like our body armor right now because it's power, which is AOE. Gloves is better attack speed with instruments. Chance for ranged attacks to repeat. I don't think I want any of these, so I'll probably take the armor just to, just to be able to dump it. I like the plus stamina on the boots, and actually we don't need these boots right now. So what I'll do is I'll dump like the chakrams to take the boots, to swap the boots, to have stamina until we get the... It, we, there's no reason to have the war belt unless we can make ranged attacks count as close range. Then we can swap it out. 
Dr. Feartaker says, too bad this harp doesn't buff your familiars like in Gungeon. Yeah, too bad, right? Haha. <laughs> Everybody. Sure, I'll get... I'll get one... additional star. You never know! Can't access the secret room. Rip. Well, let's get some bombs then. Man, there's a reason why I like starting with additional bombs. You go through bombs so quickly in this freaking game, especially when you have guaranteed secret floors every single, well, floor. Secret rooms every floor, I should say. Cursed random tome or rare weapons. I'll take the rare weapons. We get a Gatling gun. 12 times a second, huh? Fire scimitar on critical hit. Triggers a fiery burst. Double-edged throwing knives. <laughs> Hold on. Um, we gotta dump something. Dump the chakrams. Take the... <clears throat> Went from honking to bwonging. Honestly, the bwonging is way easier on your ears. Doodaloo, 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 doodaloo. Mr. Gazar, welcome. Would you happen to know the Taylor expansion for sign X? I've no, what? Is that math? I don't do math anymore. <laughs> I've, I've retired from math. I don't think I've seen this weapon yet. Well, if you ever have like an on hit effect, that'll be very, very good with this. Maybe we'll work on that. Pawn shop, thank you. Um, you can take my berserk axes. You can take my ghosty javelins, yes. You can take my maiden dress. Now. Your daughter is the biggest fan, her name is Arya. Uh, this show is rated for adults. <laughs> I try not to curse, but sometimes it happens. You should be careful. Didn't we have a math command? There's turkey math. There's always turkey math. There's always turkey math. Um. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell the ghost rifle, I think. Although, like, there is a reason to have this. You can have... Explosion damage count for fire damage. There's a perk for that, I think. And then when the nuke happens, this thing will do 28,000 fire damage, which means it'll take a lot of DOT on the ticks. But... It, this doesn't seem like I, this doesn't seem that good. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it. I don't think this is a a great weapon. And we're not building around periodicals, so ruthless hits at close range. We have this is just garbage for now, but later it'll be better. Yeah, I'm. From a burn effect. The thing is, is that enemies will die before this is relevant. If an if a boss takes more than ten seconds to die, I'm. This isn't gonna help me. I need to dodge. I think I'm gonna. I'll, okay, I will. We'll try it, but. I, I, I do think it leaves a little to be desired. Doodle doodle. I'm sorry, by the way. Doodle 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 doodle. All right. Obsidian dice we will buy. Two keys we will buy. Paper sheet. Someone's a paper crane companion. 
grants increased effective status effects applied by auras. And the intelligence. Oh! Oh god, that scared the hell out of me. What's with all of this strength garbage? Each point of power additionally grants increased effective buffs. You currently have 13 power, but it's 12% currently. <laughs> Critical hit chance is zero, but you gain 100% crushing hit chance. Yeah. After not attacking, gain focused might. Your next attack is a guaranteed lethal hit. I guess we'll take power as power, but this does not seem good at all right now. We just need to, we need to get a new perk to, to re-roll that one, I think. Oh, try to snatch the pearl ring. 50% increased magic find. Okay, that's better than ruby ring for the fire damage. Stuff Abe says isn't bad. She's gonna hear it anyways. At least she'll hear it in the dulcet tones of Abe's voice. Boy, I love coffee. You think it'll work? I'm starting to hate that weapon. We've gone from clowns to sirens. So docent. There's the Dragon Slayer helmet. Increased damage dealt to dragons. All enemies are dragons. Each point of intelligence grants increased effect of debuffs inflicted. Physical damage. On lucky hit gain swiftness. Well, I mean, I'll take the helmet, but probably won't use it. Increased damage with ranged weapons. Because I don't want to lose the power? Eh, what do we care? Do we care? Do we care about losing the, the small power bonus in order to gain suppression and 20% damage on all enemies? <sighs> wow, that's really not that good. <laughs> It's, it's a really low value set, isn't it? Increased damage per curse. That's a little late. Um, let's take the magic find. How, we're, how evil? We're pure evil? Pure evil. All right, sick. Didn't you have two Dragon Slayer items, a weapon for 100% and like a charm? That was earlier. I, I got rid of it a long time ago. I don't have a charm for it, but you know, how can I, how can I know that we're gonna get the set 30 minutes ago on the run? You can't, you just gotta take the risk, run the gamble, etc., etc. They're probably, you know, run the seed if you can. There's a Dragon Slayer build in here somewhere. You know what? Hey, give me the gold. Two bombs or a lollipop. Ooh, lolly, lolly, lollipop. I need to get the uh, bonfire upgrade. That, why is there a paper crane following me? Or a boat. Oh, those are my familiars. <laughs> We need to get the bonfire upgrade that makes it so that you get more um, food drops based on your default starting attribute or your highest attribute. If you're not precognizant, precognit that's gotta suck. It does, you know, living as a mortal in this universe does suck. I try my best though. You know. Whoa. Yeah. We're doing a lot of damage though. This harp is pretty decent. Diamond armor, just big stat gain. Petrified armor, armor when bombed, or a flask refill. We'll go for the armor on bomb, because that'll, that's a permanent armor up, which I like. 
experience, two bombs or armor repair. Give me a reroll. Take the gold. If ever there's a room that I don't want to fight, I can just pull out the big gun and then just wait 10 seconds. I will do the broccoli. Anytime you can get three stats for one room, I think it's worth it, even if it's a, not your main. And I don't even know what my main is. I'm just taking stuff. I got a wand of acid. On poison tick, inflict a stack of corrosion. Hex corrosion. Um, of this. Makes enemies take more damage to armor. Really? That's it? Well, I'll keep it to sell it, I guess. Dude, all this, our equipment sucks. <laughs> our equipment's like terrible right now. Hey, by the way, this is a dragon. Get them, paper cranes. The owner says, this bot ha hates me. No, you just have to use a space in between the commands. Increase effect of fire ailment status effects. So I assume this means 50% fire damage. Lower curse depending on how evil you are. One flask. This is terrible, but we can use the charm to heal, I suppose. What do we want? I don't even know what we want. I only have time for one more character trait as well. What is a buff? Is a buff the aura affliction? Is that, is that what it counts as? I don't know. I'm assuming it is. I'm assuming that this is a buff. It doesn't say buff, but I'm assuming these are buffs, right? Increase effect of buffs. The heck's an effect of buff? Uh, increase fire ailment status effects. Curse, health refill. Just give me the, uh, give me the health refill and I will dump. I'm gonna dump the gun. I guess the health refill is tied to the charm, but it is health we can hold on to for later, I guess. All right. Game Watcher Libre, welcome. What game is this? Tiny Rogues. 38 souls. We're already evil, so why don't we go for, like, health? Or stamina. You know what? Give me some freaking stamina. That way we can get rid of those stamina boots. Dragon Slayer Stash. Get out of here, Gungeon Enemy. Are all Dragon Slayer items good against dragons? Is that the mechanic? Blight Wand. Well, this isn't good against dragons, but it is another legendary. Why am I so lucky? Oh, probably all the magic find we have. That would explain it. We do have a lot of magic find. Wand. Primary attack deals poison damage and inflicts poison and toxic. Toxic is just more poison. It's like more better poison. I need a black market, dude. <laughs> On dash, your next primary attack is a guaranteed super effective hit. Yeah. Look, I'm just gonna start walking away from equipment. You know what we should do? Dump the stamina boots now, put on these boots, and then uh, equip anything that is epic so we can sell it. Grants a key. You know what? Nah, we should keep that. Doodly doodly doodly. Random consumables. You know what? If we get lucky, this can give you a, uh, a present. It didn't. It gave us a curse purge and replenishing armor. You know, 
I think I can take one of those. Dump the... <laughs> Why do we have so much good loot? I kind of hate it. Dump the, dump the ranger helmet. Put on the wyvern helmet. There you go. Refills a flask. Let's do it. Magic weapon or magic weapon mimic. We'll take the magic weapon mimic, please. Holy aura. Enemies take radiant damage. Debuffs enemies to take radiant damage. So we, we, we're just gonna get another aura from this? I mean, it might even be worth losing the power. Oh, we have to attune it first. Oh my god, I got so much stuff! <laughs> Inflicts chrono shift. There it is. Reduces movement speed and disintegration. I mean, I think we've seen disintegration before. Yeah. And then chrono shift staff. Just another beam. Uh, dump that. Inflict corruption to all enemies in the room. So many epic items. That we don't need. I want to see what this aura buff does for us, though. Quote from 2019, that's ancient. That's ancient. Unfortunately, we have a lot of strength perks because we have six strength, excuse me. On five primary attacks, mark an enemy. Oh, uh, primary attacks at close range, mark an enemy. On dash, trigger an ancestral goat. On draining accumulated mana, trigger a magical volley. Um... I mean, it kind of sucks, so I, I'll just take anything and then probably just re-roll it, because I have one dice for that. Hello, Ice Conjuration. On non-triggered lucky hit trigger are ice projectiles. That'll never happen. I guess we'll go for the chest here. Dude, I need a black market. I'd like to sell stuff, get some better equipment. I do see that we have three auras now. I wish I could put on that little school schoolgirl outfit, but unfortunately I can't. <laughs> Hello, Dice Man. You just give me red dice, that's still good. Plus one heart when bombed, I'll probably go for that. But why don't we first... Yeah, give me a shuffle. Yeah, you know, enchant me. Increased damage with non-crits. I mean, we don't really crit that much, so I'll take it. Hello. Thank you. Epic item or charm? We'll go for the epic item. Well, we have enough epic items already, but... I gotta acknowledge that the aura build does seem pretty good. Love that jingle. Doodle -doodle -doodle -doodle. Such a good jingle. I want more power though. I want power synergy so I can make the auras bigger, larger. On dash, after a one second delay, trigger a fan of knives that deal a bunch of damage and guaranteed crits. On combat start, gain a minor infusion effect cycling between 
buffs to fire, cold, lightning, and poison. I think it's double damage. Serpentine orbital, corrupting orbital. Cactus orbital, um... I, okay, what do we... Gloves. Gloves? Increase attack speed with instrument weapons? This isn't an instrument. Because it's a crossbow ranged that just so happens to be a harp. <laughs> so, um, hidden blades? Dashing gives you a fan of knives? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't even reroll any of them. I only have red, red dice. Isn't anything below Cinder 12 baby mode? Well, I'm a baby, so I mean, that makes sense. Hey, thank you for the key, actually. Need a little help? I just wanna unlock the demon hunter. Epic weapons, melee weapon. Yeah, let's see what we get. Aurora scroll. Inflicts Aurora. Rah, rah, rah. Damage over time status effect that deals 250% of radiant infliction damage is radiant damage two times per second for 10 seconds. It's just another DOT. Dragon Slayer Disintegrator. Maximum stacks of disintegration at once. So it's basically. It maxes out the DOT. Pneumatic crossbows. All hits are considered close range. Now we're talking. Okay. Okay. Look, this would be awesome, but this is what we've been waiting for. Now, all hits are considered close range. Pneumatic crossbow. You put on the war belt. We get 20% more damage at close range. 100% ruthless hits at close range. And then we can reroll this later, but there's the synergy. I don't know, keep nuke rifle, I guess. Um, I'm dumping the flask, I don't freaking need it. Why does it suck so much? <laughs> Hold on, why, 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 why not good? Periodically intimidate all enemies. They take more damage. No. I guess it, it doesn't do that much damage, is the thing. Maybe we need more synergies to actually make it truly work. 100% more top end damage, I guess it, it doesn't necessarily roll that all the time. Let's do another room, see how it goes. Dude, I kinda like the homing shots. Um, pawn shop, let's go to the pawn shop. Inflicts toxic and poison. I'm gonna dump this. Increased magic find. Knife boots kinda suck. Well, it's knife gloves. And they do kinda suck, but they're also kinda good. I gotta, I gotta dump, I'm dumping the freaking ghost rifle, man. Plus one power. I'm dumping the... I'm not gonna dump it, I'm just gonna not equip this for now. Maybe we can work on these pneumatic crossbows to be better. I want the magic find, though. Magic find! 
That's good enough. Like, it's just the homing. The homing does it for me. <laughs> it's so good. Shop or health? I'll take shop. Plus one luck. Increased damage per maximum stamina you have. Increased damage. It's just a bow. And it's just a scepter. Well, they all kind of suck. I'm gonna go for the consumables, I guess. There you are, thank you. Oh good, a power gem. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's what I need, that's what I'm talking about. I should really be dashing more. <laughs> Kimono grants plus two stamina. Sure. Gold or candy? I, I want stats? I don't want to get close enough for the aura to be in range of enemies, because that means I, I have to dodge. What I really want is... 100% crushing hit chance with two-handed weapons. Ooh! I can't equip them both at the same time. Otherwise, we could have the ruthless hits that are also guaranteed hits. No, no, no! Still take it, though. Um, <laughs> I want to have... A larger AoE, but that's okay. We need to, I need to get more dice. I can't believe we haven't had a dice room show up, like at all. Where are you? There you are. All right, give me something. We got Doom Armor and Doom Armor. Well, no, this is different armor. Periodi periodically launch an explosive. Increase cold damage. Critical hit chance at close range. Armor and suppression. So that does synergize with the war belts with all attacks from this weapon being at close range, we're more likely to get crits, I guess. So, I mean, I don't want any of the other stuff here, so we'll take it. And maybe synergize into that later, I don't know. It's getting weird. Cursed hit chance, depending on how evil you are, and then guaranteed Crits on cursed hits are pretty good. Increased damage depending on how lawful you are. Charm. That's not bad. Five thousand infliction damage. That's a buff. Power gives you increased effect on buffs. I have no power. Power, I'm realizing. That's okay. Um. Damage depending on how lawful you are. Get rid of the armor charm? We don't really need the armor. We have enough health, I think, at this point. More damage would be better. I kind of want to get both, but I can't get both. I think I also like intelligence for the bonuses. Then we can get more AOE range from dominance. Yeah, let's, uh, let's buy that. A pact sealed, destiny foretold. You've purchased garbage from an evil shop. I love the music on this floor. It's so, uh, prominent, you know? Dexterity and bombs. Mm, honestly, plus three intelligence. Every intelligence we get is so nice because it makes the auras better. And that's actually a huge increase on range.
cursed chocolate? It's plus two intelligence. Dude, I'm doing it. I know it's cursed. I want that int buff. It's not a big buff, but I still wanted it. Now do I wish I continued to have that thing that dispelled curses? Yeah! That's okay, it's not gonna matter that much. I'll take, uh, I'll take a soul heart. Is that a secret room? I hope it wasn't. I'll take intelligence. We want intelligence at all times. Our buffs are getting mighty nice, mighty nice indeed. We could go for pear. That's one random resin. I'll spend a bomb for a pear, I suppose. Meat shank. We don't need strength. It is uh, equip load, but we have equip load thanks to the boots. And if we can find a combo that warrants using the war belt, we have guaranteed ruthless and then more damage at close range, but we're not quite there yet. What I really need is dice rooms or intelligence. That works too. Dude, the harp is actually pretty good. I've been I've been enjoying the harp so far. Okay. There's our secret room. We have just a ton of stats. There's a lollipop coming up too. Oh god, the key! Where did it go? It was trying to leave me. What the heck? What the heck? Dude, the aura buff is kind of nice. Let's go for even more candy. I did evade that, unfortunately. It's a pretty solid AoE buff there. Mm -hmm, cursed chocolate. That does sound pretty delicious right about now. So we can get a pretty solid buff due to power, or we can keep the Judgment Aura. I think I'd rather have the Judgment Aura, which is pretty solid, because it's a third aura. Aura, aura! And then, are we fighting a dragon? No, do we need Magic Find? No, well, we wouldn't mind it, but maybe we just want, what, to use the Pneumatic Crossbow? I don't really want to use the Pneumatic Crossbow. This is a very unhealthy run, full of uh, lollipops and chocolate cake. Also, um, judgment is not elemental. Interesting. Guaranteed crushing hit chance with two-handed weapons. Can't use this and ruthless, but we could use this. All hits from this weapon are considered close range. Dude, I just need more dice. Dude, I don't think we wor worry about this. I really don't. I think we just go. Like, I don't think we care about trying to engineer crushing hit chances, replacing the hat with the Praetor helmet and Crushing hit chance of two-handed weapons. Although well, crushing hit chance with the crossbow, it's quite a bit of additional damage. I'm just gonna just gonna fight. I'm just gonna fight you. I think I'm just gonna fight you. Yeah, hi death. Ow. I did not see that one coming. Ow. Dumb of me. I gotta pay a little bit more attention to what I'm actually doing. Which I'm not doing. That's okay, we can actually just uh, literally repair our armor. Dumb damage, though. 
Doo -doo 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 -doo. More shoot, less think, yes, yes. <laughs> Increased orbital speed. If you have taken heart damage, recover one heart at the end of a room encounter. It seems pretty good. Bow and crossbow attacks at far range taunt. They take more damage at close range. I mean, we're not using cactus orb, so we can just equip this. And again, you know, we do have that synergy of, hey, we can actually make all of our attacks from the pneumatic crossbow close range. But I really, I like the homing from the harp. Dr. Fear Taker says, Abe, whenever you say, what the heck, is that a Star Fox reference? I don't know what that reference is. It's just, what the heck? Oh, it, it's a... It's a... It, it's the PG version of what, what the hell? Which is, I think, a scene from... Twin Peaks or Twin Peaks Season 2, which is not Twin Peaks? I think if you just Google what the heck or what the hell, it'll show up, but... Pixely, welcome. Aura build pog, good evening. I need a bigger aura. Bigger aura, aura, aura. I guess we could uh, have a bigger aura with the school uniform for the time being. Highest attribute, yes, let's go. I figure enemies are gonna die to the poison and fire. We don't need judgment. Where are you? There you are. Increase attack speed. We'll, we'll go for that. I don't think pneumatic crossbow is good enough. Mana Drain Refund. Oh, this is a free roll. Critical hit chance, why not? I just love having that, uh... Homing. Homing man. Lucky hit chance or cursed chest. I'll go lucky hit chance, and I'm not even gonna use the, uh, bomb. I wanna save it. Dress. It sounds like something Super Nintendo Chalmers would say. <laughs> oh, what the? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? Took you long enough to show up, my dude. Soul Heart or increased attack speed? I guess we'll go increase attack speed. Although, you know, if we had the perk that was, oh, power with soul hearts, that would be a, a different decision. Shop. It's a soul shop. Still. This one to weapon upgrade level. Lucky hit for each weapon upgrade level. Whetstone Blossom. I'm more of a Buttercup fan myself. Out of here, dice bag. Okay, give me this. Give me that. We're pure evil, pure, unadulterated evil. My God, man, he's so evil. Oh, right, I almost didn't take the potion. So the idea is dump magic fine for increased damage at close range. Dump 
the helmet for Praetor Helmet. So we've got increased crits at close with this weapon. All hits are all hits are close range with Ruthless. I can't equip the thing that makes them crushing hit though, because it's both they're both accessories. Also, I don't have the equip load. I do here. Consider cl close range. 200 to 415 damage. That's it, really? Yeah, I'm just going to keep the magic find. The dragon helmet, because I think we're fighting dragons. And uh, keep the judgment armor for the AoE. We'll just attune. Yeah, I'm happy with this. What are you waiting for? Nothing. So our helmet will do more damage on dragons. Gotta make sure that I am close enough that the auras can land. Okay, admittedly, the knives are not like a 10 out of 10. Aura, green, yellow, and red. Disposable account says he went to the Louvre and spat in Mona Lisa's face. Pure evil. He murdered Archduke Ferdinand and started World War I. Pure evil. He filled a rocket with puppies and shot it into space. Pure evil. Charm enemies. Luck and curse are both zero. Gift box contains additional booze. Non-triggered lucky hit. I mean, can I just leave? I, I know I'm already pure evil. I'm like pure, pure, pure evil. I'm pure evil. Did I just drop my maid outfit on the floor? Don't do that. Pick it up. Where's my dice? I want to re-roll my perks. I want to get more, uh, more auras. Managing refund random traits. You know what? Maybe we can luck into... What happened? Oh, was I getting sucked in? I think I was getting sucked in. It's very confusing. On non-triggered lucky hit, trigger hammer, necrotic and poison damage from you inflicts fragility and armor break, more damage over time. That's actually okay. Um, dump that. If we replace... Power is power with this, then we'll inflict fragility and armor break passively. We could get rid of Ice Conjuration, I suppose. Um, increase effective buffs and increase aura radius dominance. That's pretty good. Increase attack speed per aura you have, also good. Power is power we're not gonna need because when we fight the boss, I'm just gonna replace my weapons anyways. I'm gonna go to the Judgment Aura, I think, is what it's gonna come down to. But also we don't have lucky hits, so... You know what, give me Ice Conjuration in that case. I'll hold on to this in case I want to replace a bad perk later, and then we'll move on. More attributes, please. More intelligence! This is a ranger, by the way. 
But we are going uh, int build here. What the heck happened there? His UI was rotating as well. Health flask or a random potion. Can't reroll, so... I think at this point we don't get dice. I think we're diced out. Evade has recharged. We get a wrath potion, which is... 24% better crit chance. I guess that, that's the synergy with effect of buffs. Sure. No, that, that moves. So it's not a matter of me being sucked in, it's a matter of that kind of chain attack having a very strange pattern. Interesting. Seems like it's a little tough dodge you know, in that case. Each point of mana additionally grants more top end damage to mana draining weapons. That's not gonna happen. It's our lucky hit chance. 3%! No. Yeah, I think I want the uh, the additional aura. Aura, aura! And was this a dragon? I forget. No, this is a, a death man, isn't it? Death man! Repair our armor. Crushing hit. This guy's a fiend. I don't think I have anything that benefits fiends. It's good to know that death is a fiend. Dun, 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 dun. Disposable account says it's John Oliver song. A guy named Bob sued the show. Once John Oliver and company got the lawsuit dropped, they realized I could say anything as long as it could not be construed as factual. <laughs> Are the rogues tiny, or is that just what Big Tiny wants you to think? It says Erogenous Jones, welcome. Who's Big Tiny? Hey, I'm Tiny here. Weird, like, it's a weird DOT build. I wish I could wear the school uniform at the same time as the holy armor. Don't take that one out of context. I think we're okay. We're just gonna go fight. It's not a dragon, though. So, put on the other helmet. We don't need magic finds, so we can put this on. Sure. Or we could get crushing hit with two-handed weapons that's too heavy actually crushing hit with two-handed weapons with the bow is actually still pretty okay then I'll dump the helmet it'll be helmetless yeah because now it'll do maximum damage value sure let's do it the throne I sense the growing darkness within you, eagerly awaiting this very moment at last. A worthy contender! I don't know why I didn't think you would have an attack that would go that far. There you go. That's my my epic ability is those knives. It's not very good. This is where I would love to have the nuclear missile launcher. Also, is the fight getting harder? I don't remember the auras following me. I got hit? From what? Oh, there's other attacks! I was just dodging the punches, but there were green, green bullets as well. All right, put on my schoolgirl uniform again. All right, that was a good run. I don't know how much damage those auras were, do were doing. What I should have done is not attacked for a little while there and just seen what the damage was, but for the room encounters, this wide aura was doing a very good job. 
This on a sorcerer build with power per soul heart? That would be incredible. It would cover the entire room. Um, hello, orange ball. <laughs> and we should, in theory, have another unlock as well. Man, I do need to crank up the cinder. This is very slow leveling up. Um, what I want here is... I think we'll go for, um... Reduce stamina recovery time. And we'll check out the Demon Slayer. Demon Hunter. Fueled by vengeance, the Demon Hunter stalks the night, rel relentlessly pursuing all evil and striking fear into the hearts of demons and undead plaguing the lands. Rooms can appear tainted, adding enemies, but also doubling the rewards. Dexterity-focused character with crossbows, knighthood, and silver ring. Fighting more enemies for more rewards is not a problem. That seems very good. That's a very nice positive for the character to have. Tainted room. Cool. Well, there's another class unlock completed. Dab. Is this... It doesn't random that roster. It Oh, it does. It, when you hit random, it'll switch to the one of the rosters and then random that roster. Unless it just, you know, it's all a visual thing. It automatically it randomizes the character immediately and then it, you know, switches that screen to tell you what it is. Okay. So it'll random both. Your reward for killing the big guys to die asks Tree Jam, yep, until we get further along in this game's development and we get the true final, final, true final, final, true final boss. And then we'll have an actual proper ending where we live, potentially. You never know. Good run, though. And for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel. I have the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Tiny Rogues.